dear audience, students and scholars, here I am Dr. Amjad Ali. In this video, we will learn what determines the total production of goods and services. Dear scholars, uh, here are some basic terminologies which will be extensively used in coming discussion and coming videos and coming chapters of Mankiw. Dear scholars, an economy is output of goods and services is GDP. It depends on its quantity of inputs called the factor of production and its ability to turn inputs into outputs are represented by the uh, production function. Factor of production. By talking about the factor of production are the inputs used to produce goods and services, the two more, uh, most important factor of productions are capital and labor. Capital is the set of tools that workers use the construction, workers crane, and the accountant's calculator and any author's personal computers are their capital. Labor is the time uh, people spend on working. Uh, the symbol K is to denote the amount of capital and the symbol L is to denote the amount of labor. We take the economy's production of function as a given. In other words, we assume that the economy has a fixed amount of capital and a fixed amount of labor. So we call it K is equal to K prime and L is equal to L prime. Uh, the overbar means or prime means that at each variable is fixed at some level. In uh, in in other videos we will examine that what happened when uh, uh, when the factor of production change over time as uh, they do in the real world for now to keep uh, our analysis simple we assume fixed amount of, of capital and labor we also assume here that factor of production are fully utilized that is uh, that um, that no resources are, are wasted again in the real world uh, a part of the labor force is, is unemployed and some uh, some part of capital lies idle uh, but uh, uh, here we uh, assume that uh, uh, we have a, a fully utilized uh, resources but uh, uh, in coming videos we will examine that uh, what happened uh, when labor and capital are changes so uh, for the simplicity we uh, know assume that uh, capital and labor are fully utilized so production function while talking about the production function the available production technology determine how much output is produced from given amounts of capital and labor economists express this relationship by using production function letting y denote the amount of output the production fun function become as y is equal to function of labor and capital this equation states that output is a function of amount of capital and amount of labor the production function reflects the available technology for turning capital and labor into output if someone invests a better way to produce a good the result is more output from the same amount of uh, capital and labor so that's why technological changes here we also suppose the uh, technological changes as a fix because technological changes alter the production function so many production functions have a property called uh, constant returns to scale a production function has a constant return to scale if an increase of an equal percentage in all factors of production causes an increase in output of the same percentage. So like if the production function has a constant return to scale then we get 10% more output. We increase both capital and labor by 10 person so mathematically a production function has a constant return to scale if we can write it z y is equal to f z k and z l for a positive number z this equation says that if we multiply both the amount of capital and labor uh, by some 
number z like here we suppose output is also multiplied by z the assumption of constant return to scale has important implication for how the income from production is distributed like here an example of production function consider uh, production function of a bakery the kitchen and its equipment are the bakery's capital the workers hired to make the bread uh, are its labor and the loaves of bread are its output the bakery's production function shows uh, that the number of loaves produced depends on the amount of equipment and the number of workers if the work if the production function uh, has a constant return to scale then doubling the amount of equipment and the number of workers double the amount of uh, produce bread so this means that uh, 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 the constant return to scale that uh, that as much as uh, the inputs increase the amount of output as much increase so here we have the supply of goods and services uh, the the factor of production and the production function together determine quantity of goods and services supplied which in turn equals the economy's output so to express this mathematically the model can be written as y is equal to the function of constant uh, uh, labor or fixed uh, labor and capital uh, so this means that we have when we have a constant labor and capital we have a constant uh, output we assume that the supply of capital and labor and technology are fixed so output y is also fixed when uh, we uh, discuss uh, economic growth in coming videos we will examine how increase in capital and labor uh, and uh, advances in technology lead to higher growth uh, in the economies or we can say that how the economy's output will grow uh, when the factor of production will change so this is all about uh, the what determines the total production of goods and services so see you with another video ciao